up to the end of the sniper range. We have a little bait set up. Sweet. Feeding the animals. We got almost a full moon tonight. Yeah. We got a lot of light. You got a design on your bodysuit. Yeah. Yep. It's camo. Oh, okay. Camo it myself. It blends in pretty nicely. We're just up past a hundred feet now. Who knows? I might get a big foot tonight. You don't know, man. You don't know. Just 150 feet. Which is a football field and a half. Well, no, no it's a half a football half field. Half a I'm a hundred yards. Yeah. 100 yards, 300 feet. Definitely get there. Here we are up about 80 yards. Coming up on 100 yards. Hundred right here. Sweet. And we're basically following the trajectory of my of my twenty-five caliber round. Well, I see your little markers here. Yeah. The light markers. We're up here, we're up. Be oh, careful. We're up over 120 yards now. Up here, about 125, 130 yards. Nice. Here's the round that came out and fired. These are the four rounds I fired earlier. We're up here, you know, we're a good 130. Yeah. Out. We had a couple that came in low. But uh, those aren't bad shots from this range with a pellet gun. All right, now, yeah. here's our little setup. This is where we're feeding the animals. We're going to set a bait camera up here eventually. That should create a so pretty good stink. We got some fried chicken, some seafood, Chinese, some rice, looks like. Bananas some, and fruit. Some bacon fat in there. Gravy, butter. It's got basically everything that Bigfoot could want. So yeah. if, if there is a squatch in these woods, usually I do some tree knocking while I'm out here. I'll find a stick down, do some knocking, a signal of squatch that his dinner is ready. See if I can find a suitable knocker. Yeah, this looks good. And you get one about the right size. Find a good hardwood. Can we listen? Signal them at least. We're seeing hopefully the squatch will pick up the scent. And so, and then he's a violent squatch. We can put one in his cranium and put him down. Right next to his food. Right. But uh, we think the squatches are friendly. Nice little spot up here. It's nice. You can see we're quite a ways back. 
And so the rounds, there's a round in the tree right there. Oh yeah. yeah. Get, can you hold that light for one second? Yeah. Come on, autofocus. There we go. And that's a round that was coming in. Nice. And I uh, got hung up. A little wind. I mean, we're back here so far. We're skimming by trees an inch or two on either side. Yeah, tight squeeze. I mean, this is a real sniper shot back here. We've just come by this tree. Just whisk her by it. Yeah, cunning. About like so. We're coming right there. Here's the line right here. And it comes right down. Oh, yeah. Fast, and it's headed straight down. Nice. These used to light up, but the winter weather took them out. Oh, okay. And how long have you been doing the food for? Just two days. Sure. Yesterday was the first day, but I was sighting it in. This was a little less. Here's where some of my rounds were coming in. Um, you know, I had to make a little adjustment. I was getting some wind was blowing me. When you fire a round this far, it doesn't take a lot to affect it. So, that's one of the trees we have to skim by. Watch yourself here, that was tricky. Yep. And I had, a, I, had, I had a target set up earlier down here. And I was firing a real heavy round. It's, a, it's a just under a 30 grain round. Mm. And this is 75 yards right here. We're back quite a bit. But here's um, here's what those those heavier rounds do to a hardwood tree. Actually, I'm gonna take it off at night vision just because you got the light right there. Yeah, you can see that those rounds are really penetrating that tree pretty well, and. Uh, they're opening up once they hit and they're making quite an impact. I mean, we're probably bringing, I would say four to 500 pounds of energy with around that heavy uh, when we hit it. So, you know, like getting hit with a baseball bat in the head. Man. Yeah. So it's quite a little truck up here. Yeah, it's a little hike. Yeah. Nice spot though. It's a beautiful spot and um, you know, I practice basic rifle technique, and uh, even though I'm using a 25 caliber air rifle, I'm firing a, a just under 30 grain round at over a thousand feet per second, mm. and so that's that's carrying quite a bit of energy with it. And uh, because it's a good size rifle, I'm firing. I'm using a three by nine by 50 scope um, oh, okay. that's illuminated. It's got illuminated rectangle on it, and that is a, a fantastic scope. And so I use all my basic rifle techniques mm. to practice. It's it's no similar. It's no different than shooting a thousand yard shot with a high velocity rifle. Gotcha. You know, it really pans out to be about the same. 